Hello and welcome to another Captain Turtle Waffle dive into the world of Middle Earth. Point of view, the Silver Swan. Target, the Easterlings of Rune. Main actor for the moment, Merdir. And uh, quite a fearsome cavalry force, as it were. He is living a good life these days, uh, although he will have to push through quite a few Easterlings in order to get where he wants to go. But getting where he wants to go seems pretty doable, I would say. Uh, we have some, um, well, some interlopers here and there. And uh, maybe some dwarves will join in the fun at some point. They seem rather unpredictable as uh, things go, but um, for now, I'm pretty happy with the state of things. We also have forces and generals and kings and things moving up to make life a bit um, more, shall we say, predictable for our side of the struggle that we're on. Uh, speaking of our side of the struggle, uh, which Kant has uh, sort of joined tacitly, um, yeah. Mordor's days are numbered. This is Kedipintor's final task. Um, well, maybe not final task. He's still young, but um, certainly he will want to besiege Mordor's final forces. I don't know why that sentence uh, took so long to get out of my head, but that is just what happens sometimes. Um, especially when you have five hours of sleep. I can't recommend it. Can't recommend yes, it. One bit. Uh, let's say hello to the dwarves and see if we can get an alliance with them. Oh, they don't want it. Alright, dwarves being dwarves, they are reserved and neutral as ever. At least they seem to want to be. Um, so instead, let's go and smack Megetu uh, on his helmet. Yes, we're going to quell the evil. Um, so, he has plenty of cavalry, some Udej marines. Okay, so we will be uh, making full use of our pikes today, it seems. And our archers, actually. So, let's go. Let's uh, put the silver swan to the test. Well, not really much of a test. We outnumber them so. But anyway, we're going to put the pedal to the metal and we're gonna win this thing. Let them have it, man. With few losses. And so as we deploy to these grassy lands of Rune, I ask you, are you doing good? Are you feeling good about uh, the state of the world? Well, maybe not. Anyway, um, regardless of the state of the world, though, we are having a bit of fun today. That's just what it is. It's a bit of fun. And uh, regardless of how you feel about the world, you're just here. Welcome to join. We're going to put a huge hammer blow, or at least set one up, over here on the left flank. And then we have more tactically uh, superior forces over here on the right, but fewer. And we shall see what we can do. Ooh! They have decided to hide away in shame. Isn't it lovely that two can play that game? <laughs> So we're just going to march our infantry over. Get our cavalry. We're going to tell them to run a bit because in case they want to intercept us, we can counter intercept them. But for now, they seem to only send some Baroon Raiders, which is of course a fine thing to do. Be ready, yeah, they're shooting at us already. Dear Prince, rush at them, make them sorry for what they're currently doing. To our sweet, sweet pikemen. No, actually no. To our archers. Of course it's our archers. Of course it always is. Um, so, how do we do? Have we engaged them? Yes, we have. Okay, excellent. Keep engaging them. Ah, and then we have another room over there. Well, if they keep to themselves, we could actually just completely overrun them with uh, the troops we have available. And these dragon riders, they need a little go. The prince is gone. Uh -huh. Oh, here comes the silver swan. 
Okay. And then we have the Odege Marines. And in us room over there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to smash marines. And then we're going to smash in this room. Uh smash in this room head on. Sequence of smashing. Progressing further toward the left flank. Execute. Yeah, they tried try charging us. It's not gonna go well for them. Um, Melody up to come this way. Okay. The service one will handle this. Pretty capable. And yeah, yeah, the Marines, they are the faltering. Melody up. Go back. And yeah, they are just completely smashed. Very good work. Very good. The enemy's general. That'll teach the so now we just have to run down the raiders. Run. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. And that it's was that. To press the attack. Be awed by the victory we have won yeah, here today. A nice little warm up for the fights to come. There will be more and they will definitely get a lot hairier. But at least we made it through the forest alive. Victory! Apparently. Let's see if we can pull off another one. Okay, so one army has some crossbows to be aware of and some pikes to be aware of. The other army has some generals to be aware of and that's mostly it. No, these to some extent as well. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. Schmacky doo I think we will do a similar thing here. But this time, we have an open field, and that means playtime. I mean, one part of me is, of course, sad that we keep uh, getting <laughs> picked off in terms of our archer power. Every single battle sees us with fewer archers than the one previous. But the upshot of that is of course that our archers are actually just taking one for the team. Our pikes are intact. Our swan guard are doing pretty well for themselves. Our heavy cavalry over here on the left flank are basically all intact. Oh god they're just waiting for us up there. Fair enough. We'll come for them. And we want to take them out quickly because uh, best case scenario is- Oh no 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 that's where they are. <laughs> what am I doing? That's the- the waffle was getting the better of me. Anyway, um, so the upshot of that is that we have a basically uh, never ending supply of cavalry because they continuously just target the archers. And the cavalry is really where the money is in this campaign. <laughs> so, um, in, in many ways, actually, they're the most expensive units and they're also the most valuable ones. So, all in all, we're just very, very happy to have the enemy prioritize the units that are basically, I mean, they can be a bit expensive for us, but they're not the best, are they? No, no, they're not. Okay, Dad Thai Warriors, uh, prepare to die, yet Thai. Oh, hello, crossbowmen. You're about to die as well. Good tidings. The enemy general lies yeah, dead. Yeah, I'll do that. The battle is uh, very just much continue through them. Victory will be ours. Those diatai warriors will not feel as comfortable forever. Oh, hello there. Flagrim coming in. Trying to stem the swan. They will not succeed. Good 
Goodbye, Flagadim. It's nice knowing you. The swan has bitten off your arm. Now it's all about breaking the spearman over there, and then shaking up the crossbowman over here. Then the rest will be uh, just. Well, what's the opposite of an uphill battle? A downhill battle? Doesn't sound good either. Whether you're going uphill or downhill, apparently it's just fighting on hills. It's just no good. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Excellent. Yeah, let's not get our general killed now. Let's be a little bit more prudent than that. Okay. Da 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 da. They're coming at us! They're coming at us! And we're not shooting at them, really. The prince's guard. You're ready, you say? Well, go this way then. You guys done? No, not quite. <laughs> so, we charge the Gambrim from behind and that should end them. Flanking them is always good. Haven Guard, go for the Gambrim. Spearman, go for the Soul Sword. Yeah, that should end them. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Wonderful. It's time to press the attack. Yeah, we have if lost we some cavalry, like this, particularly in this unit, but uh, that's also relatively easy to manage in the aftermath of this. Look at him, bodyguard coming along. No, not that guy. Okay. Forcing my hand there. I suppose we can just wear them down. Like this. They're quite resistant to charges, but uh, regardless, I think we're doing okay. There's one general down for sure. There's another one there. We should shoot at him. We're just outflanking them at every turn. The enemy 
badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Who are you fighting? Oh yes, the two cell swords. These guildsmen are going down. This bodyguard is not gonna be good. In a few minutes, they're gonna be pretty unsatisfied with their lot in life, I would assume. And maybe they'll even run away. We'll see. All right, here we go. The charge that it wins the battle. The enemy general abandons his. There we go. Very good. Our men have captured the enemy general. Behold how our cowardly foe. Yeah, and it did. Awed by the victory we have won Quite here good. today. We lost a few riders. But it's not really significant compared to what they have lost. And of course, we get quite a few of our lancers back. They don't. We have a general. Do you want him? You yeah, they do. We shall remember this day. Even if that will just basically means that me mean that. That uh, <laughs> We've destroyed he will live to be captured another day. No, he, he seems to not even. Where did he go? Did he even go anywhere? I will not waste words on you. Now this is interesting. Uh, we might not be able to besiege Mister in this turn, but we could attack Gijik and force them out from their walls. Now that could lead to the takeover within the turn. Yeah, I've thought about it. It's a pretty, pretty brilliant plan, actually. It's exactly what we want. So, Gijik, prepare to be accosted. You have... Um, sorry, excuse for an army. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. A slightly better one resides inside, but it will nonetheless be quite helpless against the storm that awaits. We'll just be right on the field of battle and uh... Meldir, you're about to be a star! Don't let them any further. And on the plains outside of... Findabel, no not Findabel, Mistrand. <laughs> Mistrand. The capital of the Easterlings. Well, the doom of our time will be decided. There we are. We have brought up more men. This is when we trample them down. Um. Oh, hello, Nardim. Yes, I have just the fellows to say hello to you. And the raiders will just shoot them. Okay, that charge was quite neutered. Oh, interesting. Heavy rains fall. This, of course, causes our archers to be slightly less effective, but it causes theirs similar troubles. And since they have quite a lot of them, it could be reasonably argued that the rain is to our advantage. They have a little uh, siege crew that is blowing its little bolts at us. I don't think it will be too much of a problem. Goodbye, tribesmen. Ouch. Let's hit them again. The 
battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay, what's this? No, they're not going for us. Well, we will start marching our troops against them, though. There's no sense in not doing that. Let's reform the archer line and. These 43 guys, what are you up to? Cyan Rim? Yes, charge them down. Charge them down again. The Dragon Guard. Now, of course, we must remember that we're trying to capture every single one of these people. So that's just something to keep in mind. If we can capture this entire army, or at least almost all of it, then we will end up in a very advantageous position. If we fail to do that, we end up in no such advantageous position. <laughs> well, I mean, we'll still be advantaged in the grand scheme of things, of course, but... It will not be quite as game-breakingly good for us. <laughs> ah, and here come the reinforcements. They've finally gathered up their ranks and are ready to march upon us. How nice of them to join. You know, our Royal Swan Guard has had a very good time just catching up with Baroon Raiders all uh, all over the place. So I think we'll just keep on doing that. Charge in. Take them on. In the meantime, we can rotate our infantry a bit. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Good. Okay, here, you're pursuing them. Ah, no results so far. That's okay. That's okay. Ah, finally, we caught up with them. Keeping up with the Joneses, as it were. Or the Raiders in this case in this case. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Good work, my lad. Very good work. And here come the enemy. They've moved into missile range. And our crossbowmen are going right up against our <laughs> most experienced cavalry units. So of course we're going to do something about that. Um, archers, can you reach the main lines? No, you can't. Not yet. You might get there. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. All right, now we should be able to reach them a bit. So there are dragon guards over there. They're a good target. Ah, uh, what else? Dartite warriors. Yeah. Then you can shoot the little green bodyguard a little bit. Okay, we shouldn't get too cocky, of course. We'll have to do a lot of bad decision making in order to lose, but we still don't want to lose too many people. Every life is precious. Or as Monty Python put it, every sperm is sacred. And if... such an entity of the Lamroth gets wasted, then uh, Eru will get quite irate. I think that's how the song goes. Mm 
Everybody marches forth and has a good time. Gamprim. No. Uh. Ooh, uh, so there's one we're in a bit of a pickle. Let's try to get him out of it. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Crossbowman over here fighting our cavalry. That's not going to end well for them. It's just how it is. But these can do a bit better. The Gamprim of Rune. Essentially the kind of people you want to have fighting cavalry, and fighting cavalry is what they're doing. So let's try to take that advantage away from them, shall we? Oh, and that bodyguard there. Very tempting. Very tempting. Archers, retool to fight the pikes. They're holding on good well down there, I'll give them that. But the weather is clearing. And that's the gambling. Oh, oh, that was a pretty brutal charge there. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, the enemy army. And they the break and run. run Very good. Anything remaining? single warrior. No, two warriors apparently. There they are, let's capture them. This is well a done! Victory. With the capture of Mistrand, we're about to establish a new stronghold in this land. Very good, very good. I think this has gone exactly according to plan. Let's see if the plan is any good. A pivotal screen emerges and we're going to no. execute the prisoners. I'm sorry. It's not so noble, but... Uh, Never shall they return. Neither is the rule of these people. Pretty brutal, apparently. By all accounts. So we're just going to go in and occupy like the lovely people we are. And our spy will join them next turn. For now, we're going to build a library, and we're going to train a new spy, and oh, merchants, very nice, I like that. Um, we have a spy in there already, of course, that's good, yeah. So, Meldir, Conqueror of Mistrand. He's 25, and already he's been uh, thrown out into a very... Demanding campaign, but he has come out of it with pretty good marks. I will not waste words on you. Oh my god, this is interesting. Okay, I think I'll just um, take one of these seaward lancers that haven't done so much, too much yet, 
and send them out against Dumbra. Because this army is just perfect for a cavalry strike. And uh, we're just going to do that. <laughs> Welcome to the field of battle. We have a company of heavy cavalrymen. Some of the finest army that our forgers can produce. Some of the fi finest army? Uh, armor, right? Armor. Hmm. Anyway, they will uh, say hello to the catapult crew. Uh, the Dautai warriors are trying to get out of the way, but <laughs> the problem is they're leaving their friends in the dust, and uh, <laughs> in the dust is exactly where we will find them. <laughs> and they're gone. How do you like that? How's that for a cavalry raid? Alright, um, well, no need to stand on ceremony here. We'll just flank a little bit, you know, angle our attack, and then... SQUASH! Bloody <laughs> hell, like oh, that was brutal. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Yep, that lets it's us a bit of extra experience for the unit, and uh, who knows, maybe a general. We'll see. Let all who remember this day, remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Not most glorious, I think, but it was pretty good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Ready ho, ready ho. Do you want them? They do. The day is ours. And a man of the hour. Thurlin. Yes, welcome. You're mostly rational, hateful. Oh, goodness. Um, handsome. Talented numbers. Mostly rational. Not, not completely rational, just mostly rational. And uh, Dunedin, Ambrosian, yeah. you know what, I think that's a fine CV, let's just get him in. Captain of Gondor. I am but an ally. Okay, so Dorwinian have the Isle of Nabur. Excellent. Good. Ready your weapons. Forward. Captain of Gondor. Maintain order. For now, Meldir will take up uh, Mistran for a bit, but it's good to have another general. It means that Atrahil might sooner rather than later be able to m leave that place. We'll make camp here. A pretty eventful uh, <laughs> continuation of last turn, I would say. So what's the capital now? Lest. Okay. Not gonna argue with that. That's also a pretty good town in its own right. Maybe we should um, take some troops from uh, these lands, from Mordor. Maintain order. Get them to come along. Oh, but what we also have to do, of course, before we go anywhere, <laughs> is uh, take up all of up here in the mountains. Oh. We'll just have to wait a turn because. Uh, Shenanigans, I guess. Um, apart from that, we're all good to go. Oh, and we have an army here that's good to go. Yeah, that's gonna go. You know where that's gonna go? That is gonna go to Mataram. But maybe not that way. Uh, I don't know. Ah, yeah, okay. We made a bit of a bit of a kerfuffle here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to march the car through Karkukor. And we're just going to assume that we can get through these lands unmolested by Kand. Because then we can get to Mataram. Or at least we can get to Enmahath where we can meet up with our dear Prince of the Realm, Adrahil. Who can then take on further duties. Of engagement with the enemy. Very good, very good. These seven, they need to go somewhere. They need some retranamar. Ah, and these are also going to the prince. Good, good, good. And Sturlutza actually can retrain them already. So maybe that's just where they need to go. Your will, my lord. 
it's not too far to cover for them because they can get there in four turns, then they can retrain, they can get back to the front immediately. Life is good. So we have a spy here with 28% do yeah, let's get another one. And Miss is here too. It's all good. It's all coming to Millhouse in the uh, our struggle against our opponents. Oh, yeah, let's build a tower over here so we can see what's going on east of Varfest. I will not waste words on you. Uldur. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, how are things going with Isengard? Well, Isengard, of course, got smashed. This is what happens when you try to smash us. And we are going to cement that by taking Trigarth of Orthanc. It's got some trolls in it, so it's not going to be entirely peachy clean, but um, we're going to do so with the aid of Melion and the, his Silver Swan Battalions, four of them could take out this entire army on their own. So that's nice. You can count on me as your ally. Okay, Bertold. Okie dokie. I'm happy to hear that actually. Weapons. Um I wouldn't want you attacking the Fangorn camp really. We could probably hold it though. Very good defensive troops in that castle. Yeah, what else to do? Meh, yeah, not much. End the turn and uh, see where we go. We have a Pelandor at age, in, a, age of 18. He has marks of war already, despite... I mean, where has he been? Has he been in some regiment? I suppose he has. Where does he go? Let's see. Find a bell, okay. Well, hello, Pelandor. Do you know what we're gonna do with you? We're gonna send you with all these guys. Crook Mahur. Crook Mahur. Okay. Karkukor gets good things. Mistrand gets even better things because we take charge. <laughs> um, let's see. Now we have a merchant. Great. Um, what can we do with him? Put him on trade resources but they're not terribly valuable to us not iron at least we need to get something a bit uh, more heavy duty yeah. these silver mines are pretty good is it just me or do I remember these mines being pretty good too I'm gonna go have a look Oh yeah, 736, and that's even with them being under the dominion of our enemy. So, um, apparently he has to bribe some officials to get the shipments through. <laughs> but still, profitable. And here, at the crux of the issue... Sorry about that joke. Um, Fardon is still unable to upgrade stuff, which is just... You know, the game being its usual... ...self. I say, out of one goes here. Knight of the Souls one go with him. And he moves. He is now on the campaign trail, as it were. These go to Oibomari. And you proceed to Amu Khan. Where Knight's lodgings are to be built.
And wherever we look, development beckons. Trained and retrained and end weighed and yes, and we can't get the princess stables. Pr princess stables, we've been there. Dorthang, knights' uh, lodgings, please. Siege weapons. And we'll take a look at the other things. Still, the population decline here is quite steep. So, hmm. we'll see what can be done about it. On others, um, yeah, fine as you are. And Karkakor is coming into its own. And the result is joy spread to every family. Now, what does this guy do, Turlin? Um, I'm s I say we send him toward Mataran. These guys can go back into the city. Wish. Yeah, into the city. Protect the blood of Numenor. Oh, army moves, and Mr. Dor. Moves with it, sort of. Forward. Let us sit up camp here. Ready your weapons, my lord. Approaching, my lord. Approaching. Quietly. And our spies are moving north. Approaching quietly. At your service. Let's see, some recruitment around these parts. Any? Uh, some veterans over here? Mm, that's good. That's good. Mariners? Yeah, I suppose we can take some mariners. Fenwiland, Linear. Okay, let's get Estelland and Dolamros. Eh, yeah. A little bit here, a little bit there. Awaiting your command. Onward! And finally, an upgradable general. It's been a long time coming. Okay, and now Durdir. You know, you will go north, I think, because the better play is to get Amandir in charge of you, I think. Yeah, Amandir it is. Protect your will, my 
my lord. Order. Yes. Awaiting your command. Onward. And then, in charge as he then here. is, he Head shall ride door. forth and make new acquaintances in the east. Marchmen! Onward! Hello, Ari. Uh, hello, Muslur. What do you have? Orcs. Orcs and orcs and orcs and trolls and orcs. We're just going to continue along our way. Movement has ceased. It's fair enough. Um, what else needs doing? You guys continue on. And. This is a lovely unit. To exhaustion, continuing later, my lord, as you wish. Let's try to get them we where it no counts. Today. My lord. Get up in there. This is where I want you. Miriam, continue pushing for Othank. And we'll have to do something about these rebels. Standing on that bridge, feeling so good about themselves. Largely speaking though, we're not too big fans of them liking that situation. So maybe we should just, you know, just maybe. Maybe we ought to just take all these troops and throw them out there. To exhaustion, continuing later. You'll find your command. Merging armies, my lord. My lord. As you wish. Joining forces, my lord. Yeah, put together. Will, my lord. Five units of archers, few trebuchets. Order. This is a pretty good bridge battle force. To war, then. And if we come up from this side and we then attack them, then we will have all our troops on the same side, I think. Ardagon, we will join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. My lord, by your command. Perhaps this fountain guard can be retrained. As you wish. No, is the answer. They cannot. But I like them. This is thing though, Brannon can soon leave Brannonburg behind. Ready your weapons. So that'll be nice. I respect you in battle. Time to haver. I'm on duty. No, then I won't haver. Or whatever that is. Quietly. Hello, Thorin. Approaching quietly. Well, not Oaken Shield, obviously, but uh, a different Thorin. Maybe I fun Thorin. Nah. Okay. What we're gonna have fun with, though, is a mortar army out here. They're trying to get home, well, so uh, let's, let's help them. <laughs> Little by little. I think we can take this on pretty easily. They have a few archer units. We'll need to just be aware that they exist, I guess. And we'll just shoot as many of them as we can. Let them have it, man. Oh, bugger. This means they're going to start on top of that hill, doesn't it? <laughs> well, first of all, let's bring our troops into a logical grouping. Yeah, we're slightly disadvantaged in terrain here. If 
I mean, this is glorious. Nine experience, and then also that uh, bonus upgrade to their weapon. <laughs> Very nice. These guys will stand here and fan out as battle begins, I think. Ah, the enemy is mercifully not centered on the hill. So we'll just shoot at them and uh, fan out our cavalry a bit, fan out our infantry a bit. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. that trebuchet blast uh, took out two orcs. This trebuchet unit is now worth it. <laughs> Veterans of Ascarius. Show these orcs how to fire a bow. Ooh. Nasty. Good job, Trebuchet. Good job. Good job. Oh, hello, Maulers. Are you coming to challenge Namir for a fight in person? To the death, as it were. Pretty brutal. And now the rangers are raining death upon the maulers. Swan guard, swing low. Sweet chariot. Coming for to decapitate an orc. Decent, decent. Coast. Ready to meet the best infantry unit on the field? <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Moran and guard coming after us. Oh no. What are we going to do? Um, you know what, we're going to tell our archers to shoot at Halbert Deers. And at those lovelies over there, and uh, you guys can shoot at the guard of the Moranon. Though they're not really guarding the Moranon anymore, aren't they? <laughs> because, you know, we took that away from them. Now we guard the Moranon. The Talon Knights are just, yeah, crushing the opposition here. Ship and squad. Yeah, let's ride around the enemy there. Hmm. 
strangely good shot there, my friends. <laughs> Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Charge, my friends, charge, my friends, charge into whatever end. Well, First, run them down, and then charge into them. <laughs> okay, are we still shooting? No, we're not shooting. Well, we're shooting with archers, but the archers will be fine. The Talon Knights, they're doing fine. The good thing is, we're really close to home here, so they can just be retrained in a matter of turns. Um, and the army can continue to new things. Yeah, I think we're, we're done shooting now. Um, cavalry is what we have left, yes. yes. Okay. So we have some run and guards, some Uruk archers. You guys are okay. That's a bit weird. Um, yeah. Pole arms. March upon the Moran on guard. Smash them, smash them, smash them, smash them, smash them until they go away and leave us alone. <laughs> um. At your command. Black Oryx running away. Lovely. Hello, Wardens. You're about to be um, accosted from the flank, so, you know, get on top of that, will you? Run all the buggers down. What's going on here? Black Brux a plenty. We are basically in a very, very good place. Behold how our Everybody runs run. away. It's time to press the attack. Imbrahil. You guys, um, there's some more orcs to run down, right? Some more experience to be gained for you guys, and for your friends, of course. Drum, nom 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 nom. Nom 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 Good! Another healthy little this dollop of triumph. Always nice. We healed some pikemen. Okay, mostly pikemen. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll see you on the campaign map. So, after we've given the great eye a bit of a black eye, um... Oh, they just want them to die. How unbrand! Halbrand, that is. Uh, speaking of Halbrand, I, <laughs> I, I haven't uh, caught up with the whole mm, rings of power thing yet. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> discussion might follow in the days to come. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. For now, though, you'll just have to contend with the lovely nature of this game. And uh, by the nature of this game, we shall take these wonderful lads and throw them into our training facilities. Very good. These might even go to Western Skilliath. Yeah, yeah, they, they could be retrained in Western Skilliath. Goody. Yeah, everything's retrained in turn. And we just continue. Do we have some that we can send with them already? Sort of. There are these uh, Skilliath veterans. So that would be nice. I think we can survive them not having their melee weapons. We tend to use them in there. Well, they do have melee weapons, but... <laughs> uh, we can survive them having relatively little in that department. Alrighty. Um, anything else? Just an itsy-bitsy weapon upgrade here and there. Can we get cavalry units? Yes, we can. They can actually just catch up next turn. That's fine. Marinette. All right, Pelendur, let's get you back. Yes, Bamelir, yes, you too. Okie dokie. Smokily bogey. Speak to our dignitaries. Well, all right then. So who is Gondor fighting these days? Kand, who are no threat. Mordor, who are no threat. I'm sure they'll find someone new to hit with their many, many pointed sticks. As you wish, we'll make your will, my lord. The AI abhors a vacuum. So Ready your weapons. they will find someone to punish for existence soon enough. Hmm, nice lodgings are coming in Durthang, which means we should probably send these kind of people over there. Yes. Protect the blood of Numenor, my lord. Anything else we need? For now, I'm actually pretty satisfied. Um, we could try to ride out from Mistrand. But at this point... Nah, I am satisfied. We don't need to do that much. We can... Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the remnants at Mataram. And we will send them... With Adrahil. Yeah, so Mistor has his army. Handir will, yeah, join up with forces from Mataram and then uh, we shall move on Enmahath, I think. Yeah. Seems good to me. Or maybe, ooh, hmm. Yeah. We'll see exactly which army goes where. But one goes to Lest, one goes to... Enmath. Ah, oh, hello, Araborn. <laughs> and your brigade of greatness. Brig... Great? Of great... Nah. It's terrible. Captain of Gondor. Khaldun is also pretty good for troop deployments. Do we want these guys to move somewhere? I guess we do. My lord. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Oh, more knights. Hooray. More deficits. Hooray. 
And next turn, Kelefentor will be away. Maintain order. Maintaining order. Orders. With his great cavalry hordes. And a single archery Orders. unit. But he's dealing with Mordor. You. He can do with relatively little in archery. As long as they don't have any great beasts. But if they do... Then Mayaman will be more than happy to help. Perhaps we should even send him along quite soon. We can take some marines, some archers. And then we can leave behind a couple of troops. Like, if we leave behind some of these. Boom. Mayagost is doing just fine. So, yeah. But yeah. Mayaman will join. He'll just need an extra turn. Good! Attack! Ah, Merchant's Guilds. Always nice to see those. We don't get them a lot, but we get them a certain times. And then we... Smile. And Obermari... Gets Alazuil coming of age. And he's got good armor. Yay! Always nice for the general that has good armor, because it means he's less likely to die. As you wish. In combat, at least. I mean, we're, we're all equally likely to die at the end of the day. It's the Approaching quiet. Yeah, when you think about it. <laughs> um, Princess Stables and Mataram. Yes, good, 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 good. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> My sweet darling just came in with a chai latte for me. That's very nice. Captain Makes Marco. you happy. Okay. Not waste words on you. Um, I think Miss Dor will indeed move west. We shall put pressure on N My lord. The culture processes are going well. Mistrand is also, you know, improving bit by bit. And those are some good bits. I will not waste oh, hello, Todan. Protect the blood of Numenor. Smacky smacky. Never shall they <laughs> we lost four men. They must have had a lucky catapult strike. But anyway, you did it. So. No reason why we should be crying over spilled milk when uh, we have so much more milk in store. We can serve our enemies milk forevermore. Ooh, Western Skilleth getting serious about some recruitment, finally. Goody goody. Um, well you have Chalkar. Yeah, developing the economy is a good thing here. But we also need to keep corruption in check eventually. So maybe we'll postpone all those things that are not strictly economical. And life will be fun. Okay. Um, because we just have to realise that some places are just not going to see combat again every... You know, in this... In this century. Ah, uh, Breckness. Yes, you have Grolg to deal with. That lovely cookie. End your time though. Away 
Melion continues. Slay them. The Fangorn camp. Let us set up camp here. We'll get a bit more culture action going. Edras. Mm. This place needs some knights. And then, eventually, when Ushbek has been banished, then we can start building up the economy of the place again. And the Amandir. Oh, it's it's actually quite camp. fascinating how Namir just outpaces Amandir. He is like outmaneuvering him quite fiercely. Oh well. Logistics win wars. Isn't that the phrase? Yay, we spot a chariot and we get some subterfuge. My lord. And the dwarves just keep on standing here. One has to wonder as to why. Let's see how far up Rune goes. Seems that Dorwinian, the region of Dorwinian proper, is the dividing line. Hello, Halstein. And Bane. Goody goody. What else do we have here today? Ready your weapons. Well, I'm thinking that Alazwil. You could uh, make very good tower building Let material. So you're going to go around Let these lands, build some towers. Hello, Kelfintor. You're going this way. Uh, 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 oh, what is this? This is perfection for... No, 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 no. I thought that was sort of a bridge type thing, but no, it's not. No, no, no. But it's actually... So it's perfect for you, because you have exactly what it takes to smack up these people. Especially if they don't have any beasts. If they do, then we will improvise and prevail. Improvalize. Okay, it's not my proudest term, but, um, you know, gotta do something. Protect the blood of Numenor, Captain of Gondor, Archman. Let us set up camp here. Mayman comes in, basically has the insurance policy against beasts. Seems perfectly reasonable to me. What else is going to happen? Mm. Well, we have more armies moving, don't we? Mm. Your like this yes. one, and this one. It will be a Mataram in a turn. In a Mataram of turn. Mm. 
Is it um, smashing time? Maybe a little ultra resolve smash. Just get rid of them. What can we call that? Um, time efficient smashing. This lovely cavalry duo. Yes, they should just go to Ascalia if they're gonna be there in a we'll matter of turns. Here. They we should go to Kyandros even. Today. And Methrast, of course, you are about to get some serious people. <laughs> and Berktor. You've been basically adopted, so hooray for that. You're going to Methrast, you're going to be retraining, and then you're going to lead this whole army. And uh, what should it do? Well, I think it should actually just sail up the Anduin. A fine day to sail. Like that. Oh, and Pelandora, you're going to go well to Opalas. No reason to change that. Take that. Everybody aboard. And then up the Anduin. Because you're all going to ruin. What elves are doing well? Ah, that's good to know. Because actually, hmm. We haven't learned much about that part of the map for the entire game. 150 turns and we have no idea what's going on here apart from the occasional flag change in the shadows of war. The fog of war, I suppose. Um, okay. How the Noor. Hello. Build things. Train people. Do it all for the glory of... Um... Lamroth? Yeah, why not? Why not? Ooh, a dockyard here in Canada. That would be pretty spiffin'. So, let's spiff it all out. Um... No, 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 we want to take the bridge from the south side. That is the tactically sound decision. Okay, Aldeburg, yes, we've gotten that. Okay, Minasitil. Now with Minasitil Guardians. A disproportionately cool unit, I find. <laughs> so I can, yeah. Your anti corruption measures of. Done a lot to help, but more will be needed. That's the long and short of that. Foldburg, yes. That is good. We have Seward Lancer capability here now, and uh, that means these guys go in there and retrain. And these guys go in there and retrain. Any others that should go in there and retrain? Uh, not really. Or maybe some in Eyes and Run. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those in Eyes and Run, yeah. In they go. Retreat. Next time. Okay. Um. And Eisenrun itself gets a school. 
Uh, what do we want to build here now? Night's lodgings? Sounds good to me. And uh, Bangorn. Uh, let's keep on pushing some better culture around here. Alright. There's a time that the episode ends. <laughs> Sorry. Not ends. That it ends. <sighs> oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a slip up. <laughs> but it's a fun one. Okay. Oh no! Okay, we, we can't end it yet. I thought we have a spy in there. Yeah, we do. But apparently it's not, it wasn't good enough. 64% chance and he didn't make it. Slay them. Um, well then we'll just uh, knock down the gates people. and we'll see what happens next turn. Okay. Ugh. Something else will have to end the episode. Could be this Captain fight against Mordor. I'm gonna stick you. Yeah, yeah, why not? Taking out Mordor, that's not a bad end to a turn. So, they have Trolls and Orhai, and those are good. Malthak has none of those, and that's not good for him, but it's good for us. So, Kedefentor, do what's right, and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Don't let them any further. Now, this is where what I call a level playing field, and apparently it's also what... Where the... <laughs> this is the end of the road for Mordor. Literally, it's the end of the road. So, um, welcome to Norden, apparently. Yeah, we're gonna split our lancers into two, I think. One for left and one for right. Every man ready to fight. Oh, you should go in team two, why don't you? So, time to ride out and meet them. Oh, Seaward Lancers are quickly becoming like the, just the, such a key unit really. I mean, because the Silver Swan are great, they are fantastic, but they don't come in the numbers that the Seaward Lancers can, uh, can provide. It's just amazing. And so you can fill half an army with Seaward Lancers without breaking a sweat in the... Uh, as the Lamroth at the late stage. To be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Nah, upper hand. <laughs> upper hand, my... Uh, it's not happening, I tell you. We're just going to charge them one by one. Oh, hello! Look at that! Dum -dum 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 -dum. The Olokai will take a lot of damage before falling, but they've already begun. So that's nice. Oh, Orc Band running away. Oh, there goes the captain. Goodbye. Alright, how are we doing on the trolls? Five remain over there. Five remain over here. Spiffin. And here, okay, we might need a bit of help. March forth the bikes, my friends. How are we doing on the other guy? Three left. Very good. How about the trolls? One left. Very good.
Uh, no, there's no use shooting any more arrows now. We've already taken out most of this army. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Most of most that matters anyway. And then of course the other one comes in. I'm not too worried about that. It may have superior commanders, but that's all it has going for it. And when we say superior commanders, we still mean, you know, Mordor. Hello, Black Oreg Archers. Ready for being run down. Run over, cast to the ground. Yes, yes, I thought so. That's why you're here, is it not? Come, my lancers. This is the way. There are some archers over here. Have no fear. That's what they have for specialty. So we're not going to take that from them, now, are we? Behold uh. how our cowardly foe runs. It's All time right. to press the um, attack. Pikes, reform your line. Archers, come forward. Okay, we've lost a little bit of our army. But we're of course fighting an opponent so numerically superior that um, half would do under good principled and effective command. Though effective command is not really what we're facing here. I don't think so at least. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes our way. Let's tum, pray tum, 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 tum. Yeah, this is when you start shooting spearmen, dear archers. Give it a go. Oh, there's an Uruk bodyguard coming at you. They can be unpleasant, so you might as well skip that particular juncture. Time to move. Land a blow on the bodyguard. The battle is very much in our favor. That ought Victory to be, be good. Clunk, 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 clunk. 
Does it kill him? Yes. Only problem? He was not the main guy. We'll get to him though. Just need to sneak around the hell but he is. Infantry, move forth. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, hello. And the Brandon God will fall and flee. Halbert against Pike. Who wins? Well, it's the Pike, really. Kerevantor. Lantern blows on some archers. Where is that second general of theirs? I don't even see him anywhere. Good work, dear knights. Just let the archers do away with the rest of the halberdiers. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. I think our archers can stop now. They're almost through their arrows anyway. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it is him! Good grief! Everybody, go! Or this battle will not ensure the end of the road for Mordor, which would be very accurate, uh, very, very sad given our previous statement. Oh, you can do it! I believe in you, I believe in you! No! Oh, that was so close! Oh well, I guess we'll just run down the rest and uh, knock off for tea, shall we? Our foe is utterly vanquished. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Well, it was certainly a very uh, impactful day. Who could say otherwise? Though. I think Nord will remain in the hands of that little orc as he slinks back to his kennel. E yeah, but they can't afford it. Such a pity. <laughs> We've destroyed them. And then Gash sits there. He's still last man bloody standing. But apparently there's a faction leader somewhere out there. The of Maybe that's Sauron himself, who knows. Oh well. We'll just have to attack them next turn. There's nothing else Captain for it, really. Marchmen, have a taste of my blade. I'm thinking that all of these ranges could just go to Baratur, along with yeah, actually all of these. They could very well be retrainable over there. So we're gonna give it a go. By your command, we'll make camp. Maintain order. And so this episode basically comes to a lovely little end. Joining forces. Onward. I respect you in battle. Maintain.
next time we'll have to smack up Bartak, uh, uh, Bartak a little bit, or maybe Birdie. Ready your weapons. There will be much honor Probably both. Miss Dord will have a uh, trial by fire as his 19th birthday or something, gift or something, <laughs> or 18th actually. Don't say it's impossible, you just did it. Come on. Watching from the shadows. Give it a go. At your service. Opening a new and my liege. Califarn. Trades in gold. My Makes Lord. a tiny bit of money. <laughs> I will not waste words on you. What do these a guys have? Quietly. Yes, my I respect you in battle. Okay, not, not much seems to be the case. Not waste words on you. Oh, this army's a bit better. Hmm. Well, Hello. <laughs> As you wish. So, with all this in mind, Orders. I simply hope that you've had a good time with this little episode. I sure have, and as I place March another tower, here's my promise to you. I promise that uh, there is ever more videos for watching. There are ever more videos for watching, sorry. Should you choose to embrace them. And I hope you will. Because I make them with you for love. Uh, and then, um, regardless of any of all of that though, regardless of whether today gives you more hours in which to uh, enjoy these little campaigns of ours. I simply hope that you will be kind to yourself, be good to those you love, and then I will see you soon.